Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today in the Ninja Foodie XL Oven, I'm gonna be making some of these Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Now this is the mix. You can get it in pretty much every grocery store. It's very affordable. And I really just wanted to see how this oven is gonna handle some good old fashioned raw dough. I made some cookies in here in a previous video and those came out good. So I'm hoping that the same thing happens here. If you wanna make these, you just need a few ingredients. It's really simple. Get yourself some water, get yourself some shredded sharp cheddar cheese that's a bit of a tongue twister and uh, this mix here and then also they have a little recipe on the back for some herb butter sauce in which you just need some butter and some garlic herb blend well that's pretty much it so if you want to try a biscuit that's uh, different than your traditional Pillsbury butter biscuits southern butter all that good stuff you know try some of these cheddar bay biscuits all right so let's put this thing together and by the way you don't need a mixer if you don't have one we can just stir this stuff up by hand so that didn't take very long at all. And by the way, if you wanted to make the herb butter sauce, they do give you a pouch of garlic herb blend right there inside of the box. So really all you just need is butter and then you'll be able to put that together. Now I got the dough here and then I also have the, uh, the cooking sheet, the baking sheet that came with the uh, foodie oven. And I'm just going to scoop this out and they say about uh, one fourth of a cup um, each and then I'm just gonna line it up here and we'll toss it in the oven. Now back at the oven, I already have it on the bake function and we are gonna set the temperature to 425 degrees. Uh, box says between 14 and 16 minutes. So let's just say 16 minutes and start the preheat. You may have also noticed that I have the two level function activated to tell me which two racks to put this on. And that's because I'm using two trays. I got the regular tray that came with the Ninja Foodi oven. And then since I wanted to give these biscuits a decent amount of space, I also just brought out a regular old muffin tin that was inside of my uh, cabinet. So we're gonna be using both of these. So it's gonna be a test that I was not expecting. But uh, once, once this is done preheating, I'm gonna put everything in come back when it's done, let you know how long it took. So these are biscuits. It took around 14 minutes to get done. I tried one already. It is cooked all the way through. And I also mixed the butter with the herb seasoning packet and I poured it on top of these biscuits. So I'm just going to grab this one here. Take a look at it. Good and buttery. That is a good biscuit. But let me tell you, if you're gonna make this, don't skip on the garlic herb blend because that is what makes it. It adds a really, really nice flavor and it makes these biscuits very distinct from ordinary biscuits. So, and don't be shy, you know, just let it run. Let it run. You will not regret it. But yeah, these cheddar biscuits are good. But the main test, the Ninja Foodi oven test and how well it handled these, it handled these spectacularly well. Like I said, it did not take the full 16 minutes, it was only around 14 minutes, cooked all the way through. Everything looks nice and even. And that's one thing I have to say about this oven so far. It does a good job of cooking things evenly. And that is very important, especially for something that doesn't rotate around, it just sits there on the rack. So that's another win for the Ninja Foodi grill. As usual, I'm going to go share these and enjoy them. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy. Talk to you later.